It seems to slip people's mind that jewelry and fashion and the progression that it has, not only progression, but recirculation that it has, all derives from one central place, street culture. The taboo, what's frowned upon. The people you were told to never hang around but you still hung around with. That had pretty much influenced and changed our entire perspective of jewelry, fashion, music, etc. as we know it. So as a product in that environment and knowing that fashion always makes its way right back around, I'm putting together my version of a 1980s slash 1990s street entrepreneurial starter kit in the jewelry space. So let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto the starter kit that I vividly remember. kind of a big deal. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to the B to the A. Now, this might be a little bit controversial and it might bother some people. I'm not glorifying anything. I'm sharing a perspective and sharing actual points that are valid. A lot of jewelry inspiration comes from hip hop videos. Where did those artists get it from? The street guys that they idolized were or whatever the case may be. That's fact. Jewelry, fashion, they coincide, they go hand in hand. Now, I grew up in an environment where I was around uh, street entrepreneurs. We're talking about chemists that didn't go to college, successful entrepreneurs that did not run a Fortune 500 company, but could have, talented mathematicians that barely passed the eighth grade, and some of the most talented salesmen that would make Tony Robbins shiver in his size 27 shoes. Now, I'm gonna give you what I saw. I'm gonna give you the starter kit that any Latino, whether it be Cuban, Puerto Rican, or Dominican, in the New York City tri-state area, and possibly down south, would wear. So not to get too complicated in my past, this was something that I saw consistently. Some of the pieces that I'm going to show you today were something worn by people that were very, 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 very close to my home. And some of these pieces I think can make a resurgence. Some are still being worn to this day and some will absolutely trigger a memory in your mind. So again, this is a starter kit. You haven't risen to top boy status. This is entry level, but you're making some money. So the first thing you always got to get yourself is a chain. But for me, something that represents 80s and 90s has to be a rope chain. So what you're looking at here is a six millimeter, 14 karat gold, 22 inch rope chain that screams 1980s, 1990s. And you would have thought would have died with the 80s and 90s, but no, super popular. The shine factor is absolutely there without adding any diamonds. And it has this traditional look that really is timeless. It's not going anywhere. I don't see the rope chain dying anytime soon. And as I've known, I've collaborated with a bunch of brands that still sell a ton of rope chains till this day. So this is is where it started the street culture, the rapper. And essentially back then the street guys were making way more than any rapper ever could. And that's a fact. This is the starter piece, your six millimeter, 22 inch, 14 karat gold chain. But the chain rarely was by itself. Why? Because some street guys, whether mafioso, number runners, chemists, somehow, end up being one of the most religious people that you've ever met. And that's been around my circle. So you need a medallion, something that shows your religious beliefs wholeheartedly with a statement. So why not a two and a half inch medallion with La Caridad de Cobre and 14 karat gold to go along with your rope chain. Of course you need a rope with a medallion cause then you're not a street guy. Then you're not showing your wealth, not showing all the chemical techniques that you learn. You're not showing all the mathematician skills that you have and you're not showing the people that you are a talented salesman. So this is what you would see on the corner with a beautiful car followed by your starter Rolex like a date just vintage style. Sometimes it would be full gold, but you would have had to rise up to that full gold status. So you definitely started with a stainless steel option. And yeah, they clash a little bit, but really you can wear these two different tones when it comes to a timepiece. I've never seen anybody frown upon it. And if you do, then you're some type of individual. It never bothered me wearing a stainless steel watch with a gold chain. That's just personal preference in my book. But you did see the black boy doing something like this, rocking something like that. But this wrist can't stay empty. And you have to make sure that people know your name or your street name or your acronym. So you needed the nameplate bracelet. The nameplate bracelet was evident with the two Cuban links and that big boy squared off lock and then your street name on it. You wouldn't put your government on it because you're a street guy. So you would put, you know, your hood name on it. Tag. 
whatever the case. So, so this is technically an ID bracelet with two five millimeter ropes, a full box lock on it. And you would put your street name with raised diamond lettering, diamond cuts, maybe some actual diamonds in it, depending on what kind of money you were getting. And this was something that I saw every numbers guy rocking because they were making some money. Again, these are the talented mathematicians that can do numbers in their head without using a calculator and would walk around with wads of cash because they did not believe in the banking system and did not agree with Uncle Sam taking a percentage of their hard earned money. And trust me, they had no idea what a debit, credit card or loan would be. So you needed the ID bracelet with your tag on it to go along with the rope and the medallion and your entry level Rolex, but your fingers is empty. Your fingers can be empty. So if you was a corner boy or mid tier, you definitely had the two to four finger ring with your tag or your name on it. So I was around number guys my entire youth, so they wouldn't be wearing no four finger nothing, but they would be wearing a diamond Indian chief head. Come on, you gonna tell me you don't remember your uncle who always carried cash in a rubber band, never had a wallet, barely had a license, had the brand new car though, always had that leather jacket, maybe had that big brim hat, had a little fur around his neck. You don't tell me you don't remember the Indian chief ring and he had nothing Native American about him? This is the starter kit that I remember back in the day. So let's recap it, shall we? You got the entry level Rolex, followed by the Indian chief head ring, which was bust down. Again, they were not Native American, unless you were like Puerto Rican and had some Taino Indian in you, I don't know. Then you got that rope chain, you got the religious medallion, and then you got the nameplate ID to let people know who you repping. Tell me this isn't the entry level kit. And I'm pretty sure all these pieces can make an easy resurgence in today's day and time because again, fashion always makes its way right back around. So these are memories and entry level street entrepreneurial pieces that I remember from my youth that I feel can be worn today. Let me know what you guys feel of these pieces and do they coincide with a memory of your past or if any of these would rock right now. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Any of these pieces can be gotten at Daniel Jewelry Inc. Link in the bio. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Reminiscing and I might make one of these my home. Smooches. Fresh, who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller, roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.